Question, why is Steven Anderson still on YouTube? Um, I mean, it's been coming out recently here that he has been banned in over 30 countries now um, for two main things, for his hatred of the LGBT community and his denial of the Holocaust. And yet, I come here to the office today, I check my email, YouTube has removed my video where I'm defending the Holocaust and exposing the fact that Steven Anderson is a Holocaust denier. How does that make any sense at all? And I've heard anti-Semitic people and they'll, they'll call YouTube Jewtube. Uh, okay, how does that work then? I come out with a video defending the Holocaust, saying that the Holocaust actually happened and showing images. I guess the images were too graphic or something, but I got the images off of YouTube, you know, videos. Okay. But, you know, I come out and defend the Holocaust. My video gets taken down, exposing Steven Anderson for the rabid anti-Semitic, you know, little hate guy that he is. And yet Steven Anderson is still here on YouTube. He comes out and he uses Nazi propaganda from the Jews and their lies, uh, the film excerpts from that, in his video, Marching to Zion. And he's still here. He's been banned in over 30 countries, many times because of his Holocaust denial, and yet he's still on, quote-unquote, liberal YouTube. How does that work? How in the world does that work? I just don't understand that. And I've had a lot of people contact me and things and say, you know, we're glad for you attacking Steven Anderson and exposing him. And I have for many, many years. And I will continue to do so because he's very, very evil. Satan has raised him up to try and make Bible-believing Christians like myself look bad. I hold to the King James Bible. And Steven Anderson, I'll tell you right now, if you are lost and you're watching this, if you're not a Christian, if you don't understand things, Steven Anderson, what he teaches and preaches is contrary to what's in this King James Bible. He is non-dispensational, which is very, very wrong, very wicked. Uh, and, I mean, I could just go on. He teaches that Jesus burned in hell. That's another crazy one. He says that there should be a righteous government today that puts not only homosexuals, LGBT people, to death, but also people that commit adultery. And yet his parents are divorced. But he doesn't call for their death. Nice, isn't it? Oh, and he's against uh, LGBT, but yet he works, his film producer, Paul Wittenberger, worked in Hollywood on a film crew for the Itty Bitty Titty Committee, I think is what the name was called. It was a lesbian film. And it, Paul Wittenberger's working there in Hollywood and working for Steven Anderson the exact same time. And I've shown that in other videos. But I guess maybe those videos will be taken down because I'm not a hateful preacher. I haven't been banned in any country. But yet Steven Anderson, who's been banned in over 30 countries, and yet he's still on YouTube. How does that work? Where's the public outcry? Where's the, where are people saying, hey, this is enough. This guy's enough. See, they're keeping him there to try and demonize people like me. It's just disgusting.